Today on BladeHQ.com, we are taking a look at the Boker S2, brand new color, exclusive to Blade HQ. This is the orange version, and I've got it on our little turny turny device so that you can get a good look at the whole thing before we hop into the overview. So, there it is, kind of some interesting footage. We actually learned that, stole that technique directly from the Edge Observer. I uh, admit that freely. Andrew Jean is a genius, and uh, Yep, I stole it from him. First one to say it. So go check out his channel. His stuff is definitely worth watching. So as well, today is kind of a special day. We've got Paul in the studio as well. Paul, say hello. How's it going, everybody? Paul is our editor um, here at Blade HQ, and he's been editing videos here at Blade HQ for how long now? Four months. Four, Four months. Five months. So he has learned kind of our editing system the ropes there and he's going to be doing tabletops here in the future so i am forcing him to come on camera at least on the uh, knives hq side right now and learn some of this stuff so i'll ask his opinion as we're going along anyway this knife made by boker it's a collaboration between sniper blade works and boker you can see the sniper blade works on the other side their little insignia the overall length on this knife is eight and three quarter inches Blade length is four inches, made from, I think it's 440C, yep, 440C steel. It's a full flat ground knife. Cool blade shape. It's awesome to see this knife. This knife is $54.95 currently on bladehq.com. It's cool to see this knife in an affordable range. Sniper Blade Works makes some awesome stuff, but seeing this in kind of the poppers price range is a good thing because uh, I'm poor, I understand that. It's got that nice flipper on the back, little bit of jimping on the flipper, you can see that. And uh, let me flip it for you. Somebody asked the other day why I always flip them out this way. Part of it is because I can actually get it that way, but I know you guys wanna kinda see it this way, so I'm attempting it today. But uh, gravity, there it is, bam. Very nice, very solid lockup on it, as well as very solid. Uh, pivot action. So you can see it is a liner lock. It's probably at about, oh, I don't know, 30% lock up on it is where the liner comes to. Coolest thing about this one, G10, orange G10, you've got that great color, very nice stuff. Quality control on these is really good as well. These are made in China, but I feel like they've done an excellent job keeping these high quality so you can see the lanyard hole there got the backspacer there forgot all about paul already paul what do you think of this one so far i actually really like it i like the g10 handle i also like the orange color boker also did the uh acid green kalashnikov love that one love this bright orange uh totally S2. so this is kind of a different orange color than the quake and we looked at that one a couple weeks ago but uh, this is kind of a more fluorescent color. The Quaken is more of a, a burnt orange color. So, pretty cool. Nice jimping there, give you a hand shot. You can see it in my hand. So, bam, one-handed operation. Check out that pocket clip. It is tip up or tip down carry. It also comes with an extra clip. Let me pull that out of the box here. So for tip down carry, it's kind of got an interesting design. There are two different, completely different pocket clips. You've got the one with kind of that tip on it. Then you've got this one that's absolutely different, but it fits right in that space. So kind of interesting. They've got two pocket clips as well as the adjustment tool comes in the, in the box as well. So Paul, do you have your uh, EDC on you? I do. What is your EDC today, by the way? It is the ZT350. ZT350, let's do a quick size comparison here. Bam, you can see them both there. Let's get them on the same plane so you get, get the idea. Up a little higher, right there, bam. Paul wanted to get a cryo, first shot cryo, and I talked him into the 350. <laughs> Oops. True. <laughs> <true>. Oops. <laughs> anyway, it's a good knife. Not that the cryo is a bad knife, but I told Paul, look, we gotta get you something nice. So when he started, he contemplated it for a bit, 
than went for the 350. I do enjoy the 350, though. Happy, good, happy with the choice? It was a good choice. Good. Thanks, Ben. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> a couple other things you want to know. Let's go over some specs, some down and dirty specs. There's my calipers. They are zeroed in right there on the spine of the blade at 0.1 inches right at the tip. 0 0.04140 inches and then right at the grind, full flat ground knife here, 0 0.02 inches. Handle thickness is 0.5. So that's a pretty good spot. Not bad at all. Let me show you a shot with gloves on. I don't know where my tactical clothespin went. Do you see my tactical clothespin, Paul? No, I don't know where it went. Anyway, there's a shot with gloves on give you an idea of how it looks in hand and that feels nice I like that and even with gloves on it's easy operation bam digging that I remember back in the day people used to complain about me flicking it flicking knives with my wrist you know it's kind of hard to open knives arms length away behind a camera so sometimes I do use that wrist flick to get it open so Anyway, the weight on this one is five ounces. I think I hit all of the high points. Comparison with a tactical clothespin right there. Give an idea of how big it is. Fairly large blade. That's the one thing that strikes me. I mean, you, you see that handle as well as the blade go right. That blade comes right to the end of that handle. So it is a fairly long blade. Dig it, very nice stuff. So, the only place you can buy this one is bladehq.com. I'd recommend it. Paul, you recommend it? I do. Price point, you can't beat it, right? Nope. $54.95 currently on bladehq.com. By the way, this is a, an exclusive, and it's a numbered exclusive, so you can see the numbering here. Only 600 pieces were made. This is number four of 600. So if you want this one, don't think about it super long, because... Uh, it will definitely be gone sooner than later. Before I take off, let me show you blade play. Front to back, nothing. Absolutely solid. Side to side, nothing as well, which is great. Very, very good. Good to see that. And then blade centering on this particular one, spot on. 100%. I should have been a teacher so that I could like write 100% in smiley faces on kids' papers. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of crazy. Very cool knife, the place to buy it is bladehq.com. If you like it and you've watched all the way to the end of the video, you might as well hit the buy now button up in this corner. Click there to buy it now at bladehq.com.